Hello, welcome to the Cisco Catalyst Center training series for industrial switching. I'm Erika Franco. I'm a technical leader on the IoT Solution Group. This video is a part of a series in which we show you different features of Catalyst Center and how they apply to industrial deployment. Today, we will cover switch device replacement using Catalyst Center. Cisco Catalyst Center streamlines the replacement of the industrial switches. By doing so, we will notice reduced downtime and operational expenses by doing faster replacements. We will minimize human error by automating manual tasks. And we will guarantee the configuration and image of the switch is consistent with the previous one. The RMA workflow on Catalyst Center upgrades the image of the switch to match the original. It applies license to the device and adds the new device to a Smart Software Manager and removes the old one, applies configurations into the switch, and also updates the inventory in Catalyst Center and ICE. Let's talk about the RMA process. The first step is the device becomes unreachable and an operator learns about that through a Catalyst Center alert or through the dashboard and marks the device for replacement. Someone inside will take the old device out, put the new device in and replace the cable. When the new switch boots, it will contact Catalyst Center to the plug and play process. An assistant administrator can start the RMA workflow. In the RMA workflow, the administrator selects the faulty device, the new device, and schedule the task. And when the task is completed, the device is fully operational and managed by Catalyst Center. This process can take between 12 and 25 minutes. It depends on if the image of the switch needs to be upgraded and the speed of the link to download the new image into the device. In order to complete a replacement using the Catalyst Center workflow, we need to assure that the image of the faulty device is part of the Catalyst Center repository. Second, the device needs to be offline, the device we are replacing. And third, if we are using the plug and play process as described in the process before, we need to make sure that the faulty device was part of a site in the Catalyst Center hierarchy. We get a frequent asked question. Can we use SD card swap to replace a switch that is managed by Catalyst Center? And the answer is yes, but in that case, we won't be using the Catalyst Center RMA workflow. Note that the Catalyst Center RMA workflow has some advantages. It updates SNMP version 3 credentials in the device. It also updates Catalyst Center inventory and ICE inventory. Nevertheless, in some cases, replacement needs to be in a faster way or offline. In that case, if SD card swap is used, an operator will need to go into Catalyst Center, remove the previous device and add the new one. This displays the alternative workflow. So the device is identified as failed, is physically replaced and the SD card is inserted into the switch. At that point, the, the device becomes operational. Then an administrator can delete, add the device into Catalyst Center and perform the other tasks, such as configuring the SNMP version 3 credentials into the switch and updating ICE. Then the device is fully managed by Catalyst Center. This concludes our overview of the RMA process. In the next video, we will cover the RMA demo. Thanks for watching.